welcome to Yoga Galactica. It has been an exciting morning here. Um, started off very relaxing. I got up early and just got to read the Sun magazine, my favorite magazine that my mom <laughs> has gotten me a subscription of for years. It is so good. Um, but just about 20 minutes ago, a young man burst onto our property in full military gear and was very upset. You could see that he was upset, shaking, and I was upstairs and I heard him say something about combo and I told Siri, someone's outside. He said, no, that was a false alarm. I said, no, someone's outside in military gear right now. And Siri went out, and I could hear conversation kind of escalating because Siri didn't, didn't know him. who he was. Mm -hmm. And I ran from upstairs to downstairs, not having my phone, just ran down because I don't know why. I was scared. And um, this was a young man that had sat with us with Combo, a beautiful soul who had been abused. By his family, terribly abused, had maybe tried to commit suicide. Tried to commit suicide, and I, I just a really hard story. And Combo really helped him shift his life. He was, and now he is very big. He looked very healthy and strong, and uh, and Siri was just asking him to leave our property. <laughs> I didn't recognize and, him, and I said, he looked different. I said, wait, I said, Siri. I said, do you remember this guy who sat with Combo with us? And Siri's like, no. It, and he's like, oh, my God. And the guy just fell to his knees and started sobbing, just sobbing. He says, you didn't recognize me. And, you know, I said, well, gosh, you look so good and so different. And, and you know, we're just getting ready to teach yoga. And this is very unexpected. This was like 20 and minutes ago. 20 minutes ago. And, uh yeah, so he started telling us this wild story, and I'm sure all of it was just kind of like jumbled and thrown together because he was in so much fear. But we had to ask him to leave. I gave him my number because we're teaching yoga. But my God, the world is just hurting right now. I can't imagine. And he, I asked him for briefly, like, did you leave your father? He said, yes, I got out of that situation thanks to Combo. But I could just see and feel this man's heart just hurting. And he had probably nowhere to go. I think Siri and I were probably two of the only people that he's known for a long time that have allowed him a place to be vulnerable and to be heard, to be seen, to be held. And I'm feeling very conflicted right now. I also ran out without my mask on. He didn't have a mask on. So I like all these things go through my head. It's just such a crazy time. We have to be more compassionate to each other. We have to change this fucking system that is so oh, polluted for lack of better words, or I guess that's a great word, but I mean that the, just what's going on and so much of it with the masculine, things being handed down through generations, hatred, racism, bigotry, misogyny. It's like, when will this, when will we find a peaceful ground? We need it so badly. What happened to Angela Cortez yesterday on the steps of the house, the Oh, my brain is not, but what happened to her is just mind-blowing to me that a man would call a woman a fucking bitch, a representative calling another woman that, and then his apology was so pathetic, and I'm sorry to just be talking about this, but it's just like we so desperately need a change, and it begins with us, period. We can look at the macro and see how fucked up it is, which is what I'm doing right now, but we really need to bring it in and look at ourselves and look at what we're doing and look at how we're living and fucking make changes because we have a huge group of children that are going to inherit this earth and they do not deserve this.
Anyway, I'm going to share this on my Facebook page. I'm sorry to have started off this way. It's just like, wow. Huh. is now to make changes in my life. Oh. Hmm. Well, needless to say, <clears throat> it left us both a little bit rattled and just questioning so many things. And especially right before the shift. <laughs> um, yeah, it's just, just very interesting. So... Let us know how you guys are doing. Still very glad to be here, yeah. glad to be sharing, and making these shifts happen, making it happen for you, for us, the community. Oh, my heart is hurting right now. And in that, just to be real honest also, this was in a Mexican-American man there's so much racism today in the world so much racism today in the world and I feel it <laughs> in my fucking bones in my genetics and it is so painful to witness so painful to witness Whew. thank you good morning Benita thank you Maya Thank you, Mimi. Yes, this is what we're here to shift, Seth, for sure. It is. And again, it, it begins with us giving back to ourselves, doing this work, being connected, being grounded, searching for, for truth, you know. And yeah, there's all these conspiracies going on right now, but fuck, I'm telling you. We need to bring America back into a place of health. And if we can do that by simply wearing a mask, which may be completely batshit crazy for some people, but if we can just do that by wearing a mask, by quarantining, like Siri and I have upped our quarantine game, and just like, you know, taking time to self-reflect, to do inner work, to heal, to breathe, to feed ourselves well, all of this, be the example, we have to get our economy back on track. So we have to get things back on track so we can focus on the earth, so we can focus on all these other things because it's just, there's so much happening right now that it, it's so hard to hone in on e even one thing. But health is the greatest, the greatest gift that we have. So that has to be number one, I think. <sighs> Whew, I need to breathe today. The card that jumped out of the deck is miracles, <laughs> hmm. which we need, greatly need a miracle right now. So together as we shift and breathe, love is the answer. It is. Love is the answer, Deborah. Whoo, that was intense. I'm thinking about after yoga going around and driving around to see if I can find this person to actually sit down and hear what he has to say. Because I just, this a person that is in that much pain needs an outlet for sure. I'm, you know, I am in full belief you can't change, fix, or heal anyone, but you can listen and you can have compassion and empathy. And especially after this class, I know I'll be fueled up. I don't know. I don't know. Love, love, love. Let's just shine it out from our hearts today. Thank you so much for being here to give back to yourselves, for doing this work. You are the lighthouse. You are the change the world needs to see. And I really hope that you feel and see that, at least within yourself, that you're feeling change and shift within yourself. Um, yeah. Huh, okay, so let's let's go ahead and get started. Is there anything else you want to say? I don't think so. <clears throat> We're both a little bit in shock right now. As I said, this just happened 20 minutes ago. Um, so let's uh, thank you, Elena. 
let's go ahead and just sit up nice and tall. Huh. Pull the flesh out from underneath our, our thighs, sink our bottoms down onto our mats, close our eyes. I'm gonna turn my palms down to ground my energy. Whew. Deep inhale through the nose. Let's sigh it out. Oh, oh, let's oh. shake it out. <laughs> 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 okay. Now, palms are going to go down on my knees to ground my energy. I'm going to take a slow, deep inhale through my nose. Join me. Let's hold for the count of three, two, one. Slow exhale. Sending that calming, grounding energy down into our bodies, into every cell. Hold. Three, two, one. Slow inhale through the nose. Three, two, one. Slow exhale. Peaceful energy pouring through our bodies to this earth and to all. Three, two, one. Slow inhale. Gently roll the eyes up and into that third eye point. Sipping more breath through the mouth. Think about your intention for today. Let it swell. And slow exhale. Letting that intention pour into your blood. Powerful inhale through the nose. Hold at the top. Squeeze the breath around internally. Sip in more through the mouth, please. Turn your palms up. I'd like you to think about what you're grateful for in this moment. As many things as you can. Let the corners of your lips tilt upwards. Whenever you're ready, powerfully exhale the breath and hold empty. And in this emptiness today, I want you to think of someone in your life who could really use a shift or a boost. And I just want you to send them some energy psychically. Vibe it out to them. Surround them with love. Deep inhale. Sigh it out. Uh. <sighs> Hands by your side. Inhale, reach out and up. Imagine scooping up all the love that you can in the world. And as you exhale, touch the palms. Imagine it pouring into your body. And here we sit tall, focusing on our breath. This life force, this prana, this medicine flowing through us, never ending every moment of the day. But so often we forget or, <clears throat> excuse me, so breathe now. Observe your breath. Is it coming from your belly? Is it up in the chest? Really get to know the flow of your breath. And with your eyes closed, hands in front of the heart, I'm going to read the card that jumped out of the deck today, which is miracles. So just breathing slow and deep. Focus on your breath. Miracles. Have faith that your miracle is on its way. Your prayers have been answered. Surrender the how. Your prayers have been received and a miraculous outcome is already in motion. The unicorns invite you to relax and have fun whilst you wait for your blessing to take physical form. They remind you that you are the miracle you seek. And everything you desire is already within you and one with you. There is no desire too big or too wonderful for you to co-create with the universe. And because the divine operates outside of time, anything can happen in an instant when you let it. Make space for miracles by releasing the belief that anyone or anything in the physical world is the source of the good in your life. Ooh. Instead, place your full focus on the divine 
as your infinite, unwavering, unlimited source, and let the joy and gratitude of that truth open gateways of abundance. The unicorns also remind you that the miracle you are asking for may not come in the form you expect it to. The answer to your prayers may come in a series of stepping stones. And some may not immediately make sense or seem related to your request. Stay open to your guidance. Follow your intuition. Take aligned action and surrender your expectations of what, how, and when your miracle will have arrived. Let the divine handle the details and demonstrate to you that impossible can actually be easy when you surrender, step aside, and trust the magic of the universe. Well, I am open to that miracle, to many miracles happening. And I'm also praying that a miracle is bestowed upon this young man that wandered into our yard this morning, and that he finds a safe, a, safe, a place of safety and of peace and of love. And I also wish that for all, all of you that whatever miracles you call that you're calling in, you just open yourself to receive them and know they might not come in the ways that you are expecting, that stepping stones are there for us to walk on, follow our intuition. And like that card said, it all begins with you and everything is really inside of you. Yes, what an amazing card. I'll post that in the reading after class, but let's get shifted. Rub the palms, fingers, knuckles, create some friction and heat. Deep inhale. And exhale. Breathing here. May all beings find love, find peace, find compassion and empathy. May we work on our connections with ourselves so that we may feel connected to all others to the animals, to the plants, to the water, fire, air, and of course this beautiful planet, Mama Gaia, Pachamama. Bow your chin to your chest and take a moment to give great thanks to yourself for showing up, for doing this work even when it's challenging for you, reflecting on your journey, the good times and the bads, the highs and the lows, for all of this has made you who you are and you are magnificent. Thank your body for healing, for its health, and just send yourself some love and deep appreciation in this moment. And deep inhale. And as you exhale, letting the palms fall down on the knees open wide. We are going to start off with some breath of fire. So let's touch our index finger and thumb in Gion Mudra. Uh, those of you who have done this for a while, both hands can be in Gion Mudra. If you have never practiced breath of fire, place your left hand on top of your belly. And go ahead and begin breath of fire, focusing on the exhale. Pumping the breath through the body. If you've never done this before, stick your tongue out of your mouth. Begin to pant like a dog, focus on the exhale like this. You'll notice that the in breath comes naturally. When you've got that, close your mouth and transfer the breath to your nose.
top, squeeze root lock, anus, sex, organs, navel, sip in more breath in the mouth, please. Hold, send out your intention from here, the radiant body. Powerfully exhale, keep the arms up. Hold empty. What are you grateful for? Let it fill the emptiness. Inhale, touch your thumbs, reach out. Sigh it out, hands float down. Deep inhale. Sigh it out. Let's breathe slow and deep. Slow the breath down consciously. Feel the shift taking place in your body, in your mind, in your spirit. Slowest breaths you can take. Feel that grounding energy of the breath. It's undeniable. Bring your palms down on your knees, please. Inhale, pull your shoulders to your ears. Sweep. Exhale, roll the shoulders down your back. Do that again. Inhale, pull them up. Exhale, roll the shoulders down your back. And again, inhale, pull them up. And exhale, roll down your back. Let's reverse that. Inhale, back and up. Exhale, forward. Inhale, back and up. tuck your toes, use your abs, let's press up to downward facing dog. Ugh. Full body activation. Press your palms down, knuckles down, each finger down. Let the heels press down toward the earth. Let the chest just fall down towards the mat in the direction of your knees. Exhale, shake the head low.
let's drop our hands down by our sides. We're gonna inhale, arch back. And as you exhale, keep a flat back, fold and drop. Inhale, flat back up. Arms by the ears, all the way up. Exhale, fold. And that last bit, you can exhale out through the mouth. your left hand, palm open wide, directly underneath your heart. Take a deep inhale. And as you exhale, draw the right hand over the heart, up towards the sky. 
breathe in here. Take your gaze up to the sky. One more inhale and exhale. Right hand comes down and replaces the left. Let's take a deep breath here. <sighs> now inhale, exhale. Left hand draws across the heart and up towards the sky. Breathe here. Exhale, walk the hands over to that right foot. If you can, grab your right ankle with your left hand and pull your chest and head down towards that leg and breathe. side to side. My legs are shaking a bit. That's okay. Breathing, rocking. This is such a powerful position to align your spine. Deep inhale. And exhale, bring your knees into your chest and give yourself a hug. Tell yourself, I love you. Thank you. 
<sighs> Deep inhale. And exhale, stretch your body out on your mat. It is time for some Wim Hof breath. Great job, yogis. Lay down. Notice your breath, your heart. Maybe even place your hand on your heart and on your belly. You are alive. You are a miracle. You are the change the world needs right now. Breathe here. <sighs> All right, yogis, great job so far. Come lying down on your back if you're not already there as we prepare to do a couple rounds of the Wim Hof breath, one of our favorite breathing invocations. And just a reminder, lying down on your back, we're going to be taking about 40 powerful breaths into the body through the mouth. The exhale is soft and relaxing. We do it rhythmically. We do it together. It sounds like this. So go ahead and synchronize in right now. That's it. Here we go. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Pull it in, let it go. Pull it in, let it go. Now, good. Keep it up. Make sure when you breathe in, you really expand the belly, expand the lungs. Pull it in full. That's it. Let's go. Good. sipping in a little more breath right at the top. And when you've held in as long as you can, just let the breath come back to neutral. Ah, slow, smooth, long, deep breathing. That's it. And now we're going to get ready for our second round. So if you're still in the breath, stay there. We're lying down on our backs. 40 powerful breaths into the body, through the mouth. The exhale is soft and relaxing. 
Round two, here we go. That's it, pull it in, let it go. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Pull it in, let it go. Pull it in, let it go. That's it, keep it up. top try to hold in at least 15 seconds but if you can go a little longer when you've held in as long as you can perhaps try Sipping in a little more breath. And then when you're ready, just let it go, let it go, let it go. And now is your opportunity to receive, just getting as comfortable as possible. Perhaps not even moving a muscle to drop into this most comfortable place for you to just fully let go, release, relax, and just be. So as we wind it down, let's take a nice inhale together. Hold for three, two, 
One, exhale, let it go, let it go, let it go. And relax.
be empowered by who and what you are. Be not afraid to embody Earth's cycles, to fiercely awaken to your passion, to fight for justice, beauty, and love. Be unafraid to make the very best out of this human experience for you and everyone around. Shy not away from expressing joy or your ability to create. Welcome every drop of life as an opportunity to sip wisdom. Fight the good fight. Never stop believing in truth and balance, the power of moonlight, and the meaning of flowers. The unicorn. <sighs> Breathe that in. Release it out. <sighs> and when you're ready, letting your fingertips and toes begin to wiggle and move. And then rolling the wrists and the ankles, wiggling the elbows, the knees, the hips, the spine, the head. And then we're going to reach the hands all the way up. Squeeze, gently squeeze through the whole body. And then as you release, let the knees float into the chest and draw circles with the knees in one direction. And then go in the opposite direction. And then when you're ready, wrap the arms tightly around the legs. Squeeze. And then begin to rock yourself up and down on your spine, rocking up and down, up and down, rock all the way up, all the way down, and then rock up into a seated position as we close out our practice today. Spine is tall, rub the hands together, and then bring them into prayer position, thumbs touch into the chest, and breathe slow and smooth in this first moment, blessing up the space that we practice in, your home, wherever you are, bless up everything in that space as we do the same here for the spaceship. And then sending love out to somebody in your life, perhaps one person or even a group of people, send it out, see them receiving and surrounded by this love like a brilliant light. And then we extend this light all across our beautiful planet, far and wide, till it completely circles and engulfs, envelops this whole world and everything in it. And then let the chin fold into the chest, turning inward here for these final precious moments, first as an acknowledgement of yourself, the teacher, the master, the mystic, the artist, the lover, the Ah, <sighs> Thank you, thank you, thank you. We're still live. <laughs> oh, what a great session today, everyone. I know we, we definitely felt a little off coming in, but now I'll definitely feel a little more shifted, grounded, ready to be of service. And that just is so true. How can you pour from an empty cup? And you can. So filling up your cup and really being selfish with giving back to yourself first, then so you can be of service to others is actually the highest thing that you could do to be of service. So. We love you so much. Spread this joy, spread this light, just be it. Offer kindness, love, compassion, empathy everywhere you go in every situation, but create boundaries for yourself. We love you so much. Thank you, Kamala, for all of your guidance, your wisdom, all that you offer. Mm. And again, we love you guys. So um, we are not going to be here tomorrow. Kamala's working a really big production job, and so... We will be back on Monday. I'll do a reminder post about it in the morning, but we will see you guys back on Monday. We love you so much. If you would like to and you're able to make a donation, you can do so at Yoga Galactica. Yoga Galactica at gmail.com is our PayPal and at Yoga Galactica is our Venmo. We love you. We greatly appreciate you and we hope you have a beautiful day. Thank you.
beautiful people. So much for being here. We feel you through this through this mycelial technological network. <laughs> and we love you. Be kind. You know, if you can offer even a smile to someone, do it. We need more kindness, more compassion, more empathy. It all starts with you. Love you. I'll post the card in the reading. <laughs>